हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू गो क्लासेस टूडे वी हैव विद अस कृतिका जोशी हु इज करंटली स्टडिंग इन ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद एम टेक सी एस ई एंड कृतिका वॉज गो क्लासेज कंप्लीट कोर्स एनरोल्ड स्टूडेंट फॉर गेट कंप्यूटर साइंस एग्जाम कृतिका वेलकम टू गो क्लासेज एंड थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस इन दिस सेशन थैंक यू सर सो कृतिका प्लीज टेल अस अबाउट योर सेल्फ Uh, so hi everyone my name is Kritika Joshi uh, i am studying sorry i am pursuing mtech from triple it hyderabad and my branch is uh, cse so uh, kritika this pgwe exam can you tell us what is this exam and what are the opportunities through this exam so basically this is an exam nation conducted by triple it hyderabad for admission into mtech programs and this is the only exam by which you can uh, enroll in an mtech program uh, like by gate uh, score you can't get in here so this is the exam for it so entrance exam for triple it hyderabad yes sir okay in triple it hyderabad there are various courses in which you can get admission through through this pgw exam that is conducted by triple it hyderabad so like uh, i was checking the website so there was mtech cse which you are pursuing there was mtech cs is computer science and information security i think and uh, yes. there was ms also there was phd so so these are the four programs that are that are being provided by uh, by triple it hyderabad through pgw exam so can you let us know uh, by this pgw exam among these programs uh, which 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 program we can enter Uh, we can enter in M Tech only, uh, CSE and CSIS. Uh, remaining uh, for MS, uh, I guess uh, people have to go through another interview round. Uh, and PhD, I'm not sure actually. Okay, so Kritika, you attempted PGW 2024 exam and you cracked it, you topped it, and now you are pursuing your M Tech in Triple T Hyderabad. So let us know about the exam pattern of PGW exam. uh so basically the examination has uh, two parts first of all uh, like last year what we got was the aptitude part uh, for 90 minutes and then a technical part for another 90 minutes and when we uh, when those 90 minutes were over or we switched to the uh, technical part we can't come back to the aptitude part and uh, in uh, aptitude part there were like 40 questions and in the technical part there were 50 questions so every question was one mark uh i'm not sure actually uh i can't like i can't recollect this much and there was negative marking for every question yeah there was 25% negative marking all the questions were objective mcq type multiple choice or just yes, like yes, the gate yes, exam msq or nat type are also there all were mcqs all were mcqs okay yes. so which section was more difficult aptitude or technical there were 40 questions in aptitude for 90 minutes and there were 50 questions in technical for 90 minutes so which which section did you find more difficult more challenging actually uh, like it depends upon the person also depending upon the level of preparation for me at that time i found that uh, a bit technical challenging uh, but uh, the main problem in aptitude is time management how you are able to like manage the time within that uh, like uh, how are you able to solve all those questions within that time so uh, like uh, previous to uh, so for our seniors there were like 50 questions they reduced it to 40 at our time so maybe they would also be considering this as a challenge for those uh, people uh, so yeah for me technical was a bit okay so for aptitude you are saying that uh, managing the time was a challenge so uh, what did you do uh, because almost uh, there are 2 minutes for every question because as you are saying that 40 questions in aptitude uh, 50 questions technical and there are total 180 minutes okay so almost 2 minutes for one question and uh, did you spend maybe around 4 or 5 minutes in one question did it happen or were you very strict that okay i will never spend more than 2 minutes in any question i will just leave it in the between and i will move on to the next question what was your strategy so initially i attempted all of the questions which i could attempt in one go and then again i uh, went back to those questions which were i found challenging on the first time so that was the strategy which uh, this strategy i was following during the test series also so with that but the at the end the like, comprehension type questions were there like three questions and each question was having three sub parts so that was a bit lengthy okay uh, so each uh, question was having three sub parts so these were considered as a three questions or as a one question 
no 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 they were different questions but like the problem statement was same but different sub parts right pa- paragraph type question was there yeah 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 hmm. okay so uh kritika what was your rank in triple t hyderabad pgw 2024 exam uh, my rank was 94 and what was your score how many marks did you score 47.5 47 okay so what was the cut off for cse and csis do you have any idea uh, i think so it was around 37 something as far as i can recollect uh, and there was no as such separate cut off for cse and csis i think uh, but i'm not sure at this point about this okay yeah. so kritika can you compare triple t hyderabad pgw exam level and uh, gate exam level the question level which uh, which is i can say uh, more harder not harder actually basically what a gate aspirant because most of the gate csc aspirants at gate d aspirants they will be appearing for the triple t hyderabad pgw exam so what should they be knowing before in in the in their preparation or i can say before going to the exam of pgw so technical if you have prepared for gate well i don't think it will be very challenging uh, like it won't be a surprise for you i guess uh, to see like you won't get any hard you won't find it hard i guess technical section as a lot but aptitude i guess we should practice somewhat more uh, for triple id hyderabad and especially that time constraint which i mentioned uh, uh, keeping that in mind we should prepare aptitude okay in technical there are some topics which are not in the gate syllabus there are only two three topics uh, in the calculus the remaining subject is already there in the gate csc syllabus so in calculus there were there were some topics uh, you know uh, convergence divergence and i think uh, differential equations so these topics are there so uh, did you study these topics before the pgw exam or did you just go with your gate csc preparation I went with my CSE preparation, just revising the concepts which I already did. Few of my subjects were also actually remaining for gate preparation, like DBMS and all. I prepared that first, uh, so I didn't go for those additional topics which were there. I mostly focused on sticked on the gate preparation. In the DBMS syllabus, they are mentioning that there is relational DBMS and only SQL and functional dependency. This is mentioned in the pgw 2025 syllabus so was it same in 2024 oh uh, yes the syllabus was same for dbms and did you did you stick to the syllabus like in the dbms did you study other topics like indexing relation algebra transaction management did you did you revise those topics also or did you stick to sql and functional dependencies uh, relational database basically only these topics did you stick to I stick to the to- uh, topics only. Okay. Okay. So Kritika, what did you do for aptitude? Did you do something extra other than your gate preparation of the aptitude because in the gate exam there are only 10 questions from the aptitude in PGW there are more questions I can say aptitude has almost half the weightage. So did you what what, what was your strategy for aptitude? uh so basically i uh, solved uh, like uh, previous year questions of all of the gate uh, branches uh, uh like gate overflow has uh, those uh, pyqs compiled i think uh, from that pdf i solved and a uh, few more questions i solved and i watched uh, vi- youtube videos also uh, so yeah that was the strategy and yeah i also solved uh, arun uh, sharma uh, uh, that cat book a few of the questions like few of the topics which i was finding i am weak in so those questions also i tried there's those uh, test series questions of aptitude uh, of go classes were also nice yes so we provided basically five mock test last year full length mock test for triple t hyderabad pgw 2024 exam so did you attempt all the five yes i attempted all of them okay even uh, till the like la- one day before that i was uh, i attempted the last uh, question uh, sorry mock test of it Oh nice nice so how did you do the analysis after attempting the mock test full length mock test there were 100 questions what was your analysis strategy after attempting the test so it was just like going uh, through all of the questions one by one like uh, the which were wrong for me the questions where i did wrong and the silly mistakes and all and then uh, after uh, like uh, seeing the concepts which i'm lagging revising them again and for aptitude like uh, going to those particular topics especially uh, where uh, like marks have gone and revising them or learning new concepts which were there in aptitude this i followed 
ओके सो कृतिका यू वर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द गेट सी एस एग्जाम एंड आफ्टर योर गेट सी एस एग्जाम यू डिसाइडेड टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द पीजी पीजी डब्ल्यू एग्जाम विच इज द नॉर्मल सिनारियो फॉर ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दे दे आर दे बेसिकली स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द पीजी डब्ल्यू एग्जाम आफ्टर देयर गेट सी एस एग्जाम इज ओवर सो वॉट डिड यू डू आफ्टर द गेट सी एस एग्जाम डिड यू वेट फॉर फ्यू डेज एंड देन यू स्टार्टेड योर पीजी डब्ल्यू प्रिपरेशन और or did you start your pjw preparation immediately after the gate cs exam so uh, did you take some break or when did you start your pjw 2024 i just started preparation? immediately after uh, gate examination like i i was knowing i missed uh, my gate examination a bit so i just uh, jumped to uh, preparing pjw for pjw okay immediately from the next day yeah 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 i started for the next day Okay, that's like, uh, nice. When the gate result come, it came. It was a bit uh, low factor for me. Then after that, I was like, let's continue with this only. Right, right. Okay. So, Kritika, once you started your PGW preparation, what did you more focus on, aptitude or technical, or did you give them equal weightage during your two or three months of preparation for PGW twenty twenty four? So, what did you more focus on? actually uh, my few of the subjects were remaining so i was completing those subjects along with that i was revising other subjects also and uh, like it, i can see equal weightage i gave to both for aptitude and uh, technical part so oh. kritika in the technical section was there any question or i can say significant number of questions which you which were i can say out of the syllabus of gate cs basically did the gate cs preparation help you completely in the technical section or there were some questions which were i can say off topics uh, from the gate cs point of view there was no as such question off topic i must say but few topics like you mentioned earlier convergence and all those questions i think they came as far as i remember uh, apart from that like uh, they stick to the syllabus which they give mostly for us they did uh, like for uh, when we were preparing our seniors were like ki just go as much as you can uh, like prepare all of the gate concepts if you have time we should do that but if you don't have time first we should stick to the syllabus itself and then uh, explore other things okay kritika so kritika uh, thank you for sharing your journey of pgw exam if you have anything to share with the students with the aspirants uh, the future the gate i can sorry uh, with the pgw 2025 aspirants if you want to share anything just let uh, just please share Uh, so it's like mostly about being consistent to uh, during your preparation revising uh, your uh, concepts again and again going uh, like seeing those concepts which you have not seen again uh, and yeah just absolve the test series uh, questions where you have made mistakes and yeah it's this much is good enough i guess okay so thank you kritika for sharing your experience actually this year we are providing 21 full length mock test so that is going to be almost you know almost 2000 questions uh, for students because this pgw 2025 exam that will be happening on 19th april i hope uh, students will uh, utilize all these 20 and 20, 21 mock test that we are providing okay so thank you kritika for sharing your journey for your sharing your experience actually this interview we wa- we wanted to uh, focus only on the pgw exam not on the triple it hyderabad like your academic life placement and basically life in your mtech in triple it hyderabad that we will focus i can say that we will have another interview with you maybe so where we can discuss about your academic life your mtech life uh, the placement culture the academic culture in triple it hyderabad so that will be a separate interview in this interview i hope that uh, this was useful for pgw aspirants who are preparing for pgw exam and uh, so thank you kritika for joining us in this session thank you for sharing your experience thank you sir